converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. Remember what an improper fraction is. It's a fraction that's greater than one. It has a numerator that's larger than its denominator. We can convert a fraction like that to a mixed number. We'll look at an example. Here we're told to convert 17 thirds to a mixed number. And you can see here the numerator on top is greater than the denominator, the number on the bottom. So this is a, an improper fraction. To convert it to a mixed number, we just have to remember that the fraction bar means division. This number 17 over 3 means 17 divided by 3. So we just do the division. We write it out, 17, and we divide by 3. 3 will go into 17 5 times, and then we multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. We write it there and we subtract, and we get a 2. So 5 remainder 2. And remember what the remainder means. A remainder of 2 means 2 over the number we were dividing by, 2 over 3. So 5 remainder 2 is the same thing as 5 and 2 thirds. And that is 17 divided by 3. The fraction 17 over 3 is the same thing as the mixed number 5 and 2 thirds. Just one way it's expressed as an improper fraction, here it's expressed as a mixed number. Here's another example. Convert 11 over 4 to a mixed number. Well, 11 over 4 just means 11 divided by 4. So we do the division. 11 divided by 4. 4 goes into 11 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. We subtract and we get 3. So we have a remainder of 3. That 3 really is a 3 over this 4. So our answer is 2 and 3 fourths. That is equivalent to 11 fourths. 2 and 3 fourths is equal to 11 fourths. Just in this case, it's written as a mixed number, which is what we wanted. Here's another example. Convert 18 over 6 to a mixed number. And you can probably see that it's going to be 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. When you actually do the division, you see 6 will go into 18 3 times. You multiply 6 times 3 and get 18, and the remainder is 0. Whenever the remainder is 0, your answer is just a whole number, in this case, the number 3. So 18 over 6 is simply equal to 3. It's 3 remainder 0, or 3 and 0 sixths. And we're not going to write 0 sixths, because 0 sixths is nothing. It's just 0. So we leave it out. And our answer is simply the whole number 3.